Okay YouTube, and today I've been requested to do another video on the Quellcast about the engine, um, just so you can like see it running and stuff. But first I'm going to mow the lawn, not with the Quellcast, with the Sovereign. So I'm just going to uncover it because the grass is kind of long. And if I ever fix it I want, you know, I want to be able to find my screws and I won't find them in the long grass. Okay, I've literally just shut the mower off. Um, this is the F1. Now, if you notice, this is what the quell cast was doing. Making that ticking sound. Uh, but this one's doing it as well. Um, and there's actually steam coming from the exhaust. But when I took the air filter off, because it seemed, because it sounded, it did sound, even though I've just mowed the grass, it sounded louder than it did last time I used it. Like, it sounded really noisy. Um, so I've had a look at the throttle. It seems okay, you know. Um, but I think it definitely was louder than last time, but I um, cleaned my ears out yesterday, so um, perhaps that's what it is. <laughs> I really don't know, but it did sound louder than what it did yesterday. Um, and that steam often comes, it does smell a bit though, but um, it can't be much. Um, but when I took the air filter off, uh, very, 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 um, you could see very faint sort of drops of water in there. So whether it's got damp or something, um, and that's why it was noisy, um, I don't know, it's going to want a good brush off and empty the grass box. I don't do this bit here because there's a washing line bit. We do that with a strimmer. Uh, but the grass is mowed. Obviously, I can't go around the edge to do that with a strimmer as well and along here. Um, uh, so, yeah, um, I was a bit curious about start at that. It just, you know, it, it sounded a lot, a lot louder than what it did yet um, when I last used it. But I mean, perhaps it isn't. Perhaps it's just me. Um, you know, perhaps it, but I think it probably is louder, but, uh, never mind, um, it's running, uh, so you can, you can see I've just used it, obviously, because, um, you heard it ticking and there's grass coming out the grass box and all over it, and the grass is clearly different, so, um, yeah, uh, but, um, look at that, was that hanging, no. um, oh, that's hot, warm, quite warm, uh, but, yeah, I'm probably going to do another video on the quell cast, just starting it, and, um, yeah, just, we're just, I'll just start it, show you the quell cast running, uh, got to uh, probably stick this up here to, and get my mum to sort out the grass box, because we don't, can't be bothered, we've got, we've mixed the grass cuttings with other rubbish, and, you know, like, stuff to go over the dump, and, so we'll just drag it up here. Pulling it backwards is quite hard, actually, because the um, gears are, like, permanently engaged. Um, although when I was priming it, it sounded like it was sucking in air. Um, it did cut the whole lawn. Um, I don't know. Perhaps it's just because it had rained and perhaps it had perhaps it had got slight water in it. Um, I don't know, but uh, never mind. It's cut the grass. That's the main thing. Um, now I'm just going to get this out. Start here, have you a talk through it and see if we can fix it. But it seems like this has only just um, switched off. I'll put my hand on it, check it doesn't feel hot. And this feels warm as well, considering the amount of time it's been on. This feels really warm, a bit like the other one. I, I doubt they've got the same problems, no. I'd be very surprised if they had. Um, but the quell cast does seem to have a bit of carbon build up and seems as though I was going to check it perhaps perhaps it's just me perhaps I just hadn't noticed it because um, yeah this one um, you know seems to be hot as well and it was making those ticking noises which is what the quell cast was doing um, so pr perhaps perhaps it's just me you know perhaps the quell cast hasn't got much wrong but there is a lot of carbon build up on the quell cast uh, so it seems as though I was going to check it, I might as well just check it anyway, mightn't I? So let's get it out. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is the lawnmower. It has a, it's a reliable started, uh, 333, I believe that means 3, I believe that's the horsepower, the 35, but I don't think it has 35 horsepower, I believe it's like 3.5 horsepower, and, um, so it's probably that, it's a, uh, 3.5 horsepower classic Briggs and Stratton. This wasp's getting on my nerves. I've moved it up a bit. Perhaps the wasp will leave us alone now. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about where the mower came from. 
Uh, these, I'll tell you one thing, these three mowers all come off the side of the road, um, and I've got some videos, if you go back, a, uh, probably only less, less than a month ago, and the first video on the mowers is called Free Lawn Mowers, so it's not hard to work out, um, but yeah, I was requested to do the video, because I did post a video about it, um, seems to have a carbon problem, uh, but this was making ticking noises, which is what that was doing, and it was quite hot, considering it hadn't been on very long, which that also was, and I've not noticed it on that mower either before, and that mower did sound like it was um, revving quite high, um, compared to what it was last time, but I not I can't, perhaps it isn't, you know, perhaps just me, uh, but all that, but it seems that I was going to check it, I suppose I might as well, mightn't I, um, but anyway, I will check the air filter system to check it's nice and clean, to check that's not causing any problems. I um, might, There's a possibility this spark plug isn't uh, sparking efficiently and not burning off the fuel, causing it. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's um, a 2000 model, so a 17 year old, assuming it's got the original motor on it. Uh, but although it's got the same engine as that, that's just got a plastic cover on top of the... Um, on top of this bit Th this uh, also has this sticker under that plastic cover all that's the difference is the exhaust cages are different and so yeah the only differences on these engines is the exhaust cages are different uh, the air filter on that one the uh, this housing's plastic and that's got a plastic cover over the top of the thing other than that they're literally all the same on oh, the spark plug things metal on that one and sort of a bit bigger um, other than that they're well, the same engines, but um, it's only the make, uh, the different mowers, which is why those things are different, so. I'll probably uh, start it up and let you hear it running. Um, I'm not going to sure if I'm going to start in this video, but um, just to let you know, uh, long term wise, these bits of rust on each of the adjustment things, obviously, and obviously the rust on the shroud here, obviously, which is quite rusty, and obviously the top of the air filter and this plate down here, you know, just little chips on the fuel tank, and like those bits of rust there, I probably will touch up. Um, fortunately, the black paint I have will be fine for the um, shroud, because it's the same colour black as this, pretty much, but this is like a silvery grey black colour, so I'm not really sure what kind of colour that is, but um, I suppose I could just give it a, a, a line around there, and a little touch in there. I mean, it, as long as it prevents the rust, which is what I want to do, uh, I suppose it's better way to thing and I might glue that sticker back down as well you know I might just glue it back down um, but yeah so that's pretty much the information on the mower uh, if you want to find out further information you please go and check out the videos that I've got um, where uh, watch the first one where it's called free lawn mowers and all the other lawn mower videos uploaded after that and I think they're pretty much all in a line I think roughly um, please go and check them out for further information but yeah, I'm just going to, at some point, uh, I don't know if I will do it today, it's always dingy in this country. Um, I will prob pr uh, probably take the thingy here off, uh, clean all the carbon off. Um, just because if it breaks off on the top of the piston, it can get gouged between the, up the bore and gouge it all up and lose compression and stuff. Um, but yeah, this one got hot quickly, it was making ticking noises, which is what that one was doing. And that one would seem to be quite noisy when I started it up, but it seemed to have a, like, three, like, you know when it rains, just, like, very, very fine, just, like, spit the, like, the raindrops are, like, so tiny, like, sort of a pinpoint, I saw three little drops of water in there. Whether it's, uh, gone where the screw is and then run down in there or not, um, obviously I won't know. Although it had a cover over it, um, there was water on top of the cover, and perhaps when I took it off it splashed on the mower and stuff but it seemed to be a little bit noisier than last time whether it is or not obviously as i said um perhaps it isn't perhaps it's just me and but this one was doing the same thing but it seems like it has got carbon there you know i might as well clean it off might and i um just you know might as well um but the mower doesn't surge but it doesn't should we say run smoothly sort of possibly runs a little bit lumpy it's hard to sort of tell i mean i'm not an expert obviously i'd have to listen to a long mower the same as this um so I'm probably not going to start it in this video, I don't think I will. I'll do another video either later and start it, or um, another day, because obviously, um, unfortunately, the video merger I use, oh no, it does work, doesn't it? There's not enough, there wasn't enough storage on my phone. Um, 
go and check out the uh, videos called um, the abandoned ship videos um, they're quite good um, uh, there's three separate videos um, they we would have all been one but my phone kept stopping randomly when I was filming it uh, but the two uh, it's I've actually got three separate videos on my phone but the two one of them's only like 20 seconds and it stopped again my phone for randomly so those two are put together and there's a 30 minute one and a Another one, but I couldn't put it all together because my phone didn't have enough storage despite having a um, 16 gigabyte SD card in it. Uh, but, you know, it's always the way, isn't it? So, I won't film it starting in this video. Uh, I'm going to empty the grass box and sort that mower out. Give it a clean over. And this one also wants a lot of paint work doing to it. Um, that bit of rust there, as I said, these are plastic. That's where I had a... When I was left it under there, no cover over it, and the spark plug out, I had a cloth over the front of it, and a bit of metal, just some metal holes holding it on. Um, a lot of oil under there. But I suppose that's where it leaked out that time when I first got it. I need to paint all the front, paint here, here, most of the rust around here, a lot of rust around there. Um, all the paint's bubbling, it's kind of hard to tell on video. Um, many other rust on, on it. Um, it's not rot, it's just surface rust. But to prevent that from turning into a hole, I shall sand it down and paint it. So that's the end of this video. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. And I shall do. Uh, in, I shall make another video later and just put the videos together uh, of me starting it. Thanks for watching for now. Until I get back later. Okay, YouTube. Um, we've got the lawnmower set up. I'm going to start it so you can hear it running. Um, I put it a distance away so. Um, it's, uh, do you know what I mean? It's not too noisy on camera. Um, hopefully you can pick it up on camera. Uh, so let's go and start it. run it for long but um, as you can see I'll zoom out um, there is quite a I don't know if you saw on camera obviously because obviously I'll have to watch back at the video uh, but there is smoke coming out of the exhaust uh, there was a bit of blue smoke on start but occasionally it does do that uh, last time when I mowed the grass there it didn't do it but the time before it did but as you can see I don't know if you couldn't see on video obviously but there is um which seems to be black smoke coming out of the exhaust um, uh, is that this? I've just seen something drip down here. Is that or is that oil or petrol or something? There's, it's got a, it's something dripping down here. It looks like petrol. Um, I can't really tell if it is oil or not. Obviously, um, I'm afraid you can't see on camera. Um, I'll try and bring you in, maybe against the sun or something. But there is oil or petrol dripping down here. So perhaps it's got a fuel leak. Yep, yeah, that definitely looks to me like petrol. I believe. This lawnmower looks like has a fuel leak or something. There's petrol dripping off the tank. Um, so I'll turn it round the sun. See if you can see. Um, hopefully it's not a hole in the petrol tank because that would be a, a really big shame. I um, don't know if you can see. Is this brownie looking stuff here? I think. It could be oil. It's hard to tell. Um, but it could, I believe it's dripping from the inlet manifold, that, um, which is a pipe about the same size as this that goes on the back of the carburetor. It looks like it's dripping uh, fuel or oil from that area somewhere. Uh, it's not got warm, particularly, but um, yeah, it's dripping fuel or something from that area. So it seems to have a fuel leak or an oil leak of some description. Um, I'm afraid. Uh, it looks like it's a, it's, 
It smells of petrol, so it's probably a petrol or an oil leaker. It probably is petrol, but it looks like it's leaking from the inlet manifold or the in, in, intake or inlet or whatever it's called uh, manifold on the um, back of the carburetor. Um, so it has a fuel leak. Um, that could be why it's uh, called got a lot of carbon build up on the spark plug. Uh, perhaps it's flooding it um, and stuff like that. It's not getting the right fuel to air mixture, so I believe that is the problem, um, but you saw it running, you saw the mower, look, the whole sort of mower was shaking, and you could just, you know, you can just see it isn't quite running right, and this fuel leak that I literally just discovered, I didn't, I honestly didn't know this was here, it's only the fact that I just saw something drip down, and it's sort of evaporated, so it must be petrol, um, has a fuel leak. And that would explain why it seems to drink a lot of fuel. I don't know that it... I've not noticed it drinks an excessive amount of fuel. Um, but it seems... I, I don't really know. I, I'd have to compare it to another mower that's identical to this one. Um, I don't think that one drinks that much fuel. I don't really know. I've not really looked, you know. You don't measure fuel economy on your lawnmower. That's something you do in a car. Um, but quite clearly, it has a fuel leak, which is possibly the cause of the problem. Um, so I may have to take the carburetor off. Um, I don't want to buy parts for the long mass. So if there's any parts that are worn out, um, it's not looking good. I mean, I won't throw the mower away, obviously, but I really can't see myself buying bits for it. Um, especially the fact that we don't, we don't really need it, but, um, we do need it, if you know what I mean. Um, well, I use this to mow the grass. We have a battery one that quite frankly hasn't been used in quite a while um but uh, the battery tends to go flat i found halfway through mowing the lawn because it's when it's been half charged and stuff and it gets on my nerves so uh, i actually find it easier to use a petrol one but yeah uh, that fuel leak is going to be a bit of a problem i'm afraid uh i believe it is leaking it looked like it was dripping from the back of the inlet manifold and i think you'll find it possibly was so yeah that's the end of the, um, this video uh, you've seen it running now, so hopefully that'll uh, leave any suggestions. I mean, perhaps it isn't the fuel leak. It seems to have a lot of carbon build-up. I've just discovered which seems to be a fuel leak. Um, so, I'm afraid I'm not an expert. So, um, the person who requested uh, to see it start uh, in the Quellcast Problems video, uh, you know who you are. Um, thank you for requesting that and helping me a bit. It, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, but that's the end of this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I'm not going to take the cover off today. I'll probably just uh, wait for this video to get on there. Leave it a couple of days. See if I get any comments or more replies and stuff. And information about it before I fiddle about with it. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And bye bye. Just been joined by my cat. Who's wandered, wandered past obviously going on a mouse hunt so no youtube and um currently i've taken the head off obviously i've got to be very careful of the head gasket because i really do not want to damage it um, but as you can see it's really black and if you look at the engine that's a blooming big piston that is i mean this is a a head gasket bolt and look that's it sort of compared that's my hand, finger compared to it, my, this finger. Quite a very, very big piston on it. Um, the intake valve is open, but as you can see, even on both the exhaust valve and the intake valve and the piston and the head here, there is a lot of carbon built up. Um, the cylinder wall, from what I can see, is very, very, very smooth, very, looks um, very clean. There's not, I can't see any scoring or anything on it. Um, which is more than I can say for the dirt bike. But I'm going to show you the dirt bike in you, but look at the size of that piston compared to the piston I'm about to show you. Okay, we'll drag this lawnmower out of the way. That's, if no one buys this, then it's going over the tip because it can't be bothered. I mean, as you can see, that's the scoring on this piston. Uh, the crank seems to be seized. There's a, some carbon build-up, but not an awful much. Um, but yeah, that piston's a hell of a lot smaller look compared to my finger. See, a very, very small piston. Um, your parts are in this green bucket here, actually. I don't know where the hell the head... That's the head, look. That doesn't have all the valves and stuff. 
uh, because it's two stroke. But yeah, not as much carbon build up as there is. But the lawnmower one's very oily, as I'll show you. Um, don't know if you can see that line on it just there till it gets the light. That line just there is where I wipe my finger, and it's very oily. So we've got a paper towel. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use a wire brush because obviously that's just gonna scratch it to pieces. Um, I'm just gonna try and clean it up, and then at the end of it, I will probably put a better spark plug in it. Um, yes, I'll probably put a better spark plug in it just so it. Um, you know, just so it um, burns off the fuel quicker. I have some double spark spark plugs here. Where are they? If I move the spanners. Wrong side, that side. Um, yeah, like this one, look. Twins. My phone probably won't focus, so I can't in the light. Uh, where will it focus, as you can see? That, it's, that side's been closed up. Uh, but as you can see, it's a double like twin thingy spark plug we have some other spark plugs in here we have that one and um, i'll probably put one of these double ones in it i've got four of them one of them's in that but this spark plug came out of that so i might put that spark plug back in that and then put a better spark plug in this mower uh, one that burns off the fuel but it has a fuel leak as well which um, also wants cleaning so let's get on cleaning and obviously i'm not going to film me cleaning it. i'm just going to clean it and then show you it, then put it back together, um, so I'll remember how it goes. Okay, a paper towel isn't really working, so I'm going to retrieve to some blunt sandpaper, which is about as sharp as the paper towel. Obviously, it's slightly sharper, but it, it, it isn't much. I mean, it's completely worn out. I mean, if, you, if this was new, it'd be like... It says it's 150 grit. Must be, it feels like it feels like ten thousand. It doesn't feel like there's anything there. M not much rougher than paper, if I'm honest. Um, but anyway, we use that. I mean, slightly rougher, just because I don't want to scratch up the surface. I don't want to scratch the surface. I just want to clean it and have it and not. I get it nice and clean. Put a better spark plug in it. Fix the fuel leak and carry on using it. 